It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here, watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord so people can get ready now. Thank you for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church community praying and giving to support this ministry. There's news from the Middle East where an Arab army of 40,000 fighters from various Arab countries have arrived in Syria near the Golan Heights in preparation to attack Israel in support of Hezbollah in his confrontation with the Israeli army. Middle East media, both Israeli and Arab, as Haritz, the Middle East Monitor, the New Arab, and others, are reporting that officials in the IDF Israeli army are following with concern an Arab army that has started gathering now in Syria near the Israeli border of the Golan where the IDF says that roughly 40,000 Arab militia fighters and mercenaries have come to the Golan from a number of Arab countries, including such as Syria, Iraq, and Yemen, who have gathered now in the vicinity of the Golan Heights, where they are arming themselves from Hezbollah weapon stockpiles. And evidently, they are waiting for the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah's call, if he's still alive, after Israel's massive attack in Beirut today, targeting, trying to kill Hassan Nasrallah. So they're waiting for the call of Hezbollah, for them to advance on Israel and join in the fighting on Israel together with Hezbollah. The reports added that granted that these are not elite fighters like those from the trained militaries of some countries, but they also say that neither was the force of fighters that invaded Israel on October 7th, where we saw what a small force of just 2,000 to 3,000 gunmen were capable of when they surprised and attacked Jewish communities and towns. Meanwhile, now air raid sirens are continuing to sound loudly in northern Israel near Israel's northern border with Lebanon. After Hezbollah has now fired hundreds more of rockets at Israeli military sites and Israeli towns, according to media observers. And the Israeli military has launched the largest, most extensive attack on Hezbollah in southern Lebanon in nearly 20 years, where aerial bombardments have so far killed nearly 600 people, and also wounded nearly another 2,000 more, according to the Lebanese government. As Israel has declared a state of emergency and has attacked Lebanon with strong force, with Israeli jets striking nearly 2,000 targets in the stronghold of the terror army of Hezbollah in the prophetic area of Tyre and Sidon in southern Lebanon. And now, This Arab army of 40,000 is naturally forming and gathering near Israel's Golan border in response to what the Arabs see as Israel's severe escalation on Lebanon. And it is widely reported and largely expected that Israel's intense airstrikes are just a prelude to more escalation of a ground invasion of southern Lebanon by Israel's army who are already gathering Israeli army divisions in northern Israel near the border with Lebanon. But nations, as Damascus in Syria, or Baghdad in Iraq, or Sana in Yemen, they have not made any statements regarding the reports concerning the makeup or the purpose of this Arab army that is reported to have started gathering now near the border of Israel at the Golan, 
For these Arab fighters, they are naturally answering the call to war for the Arab tribes against Israel. And these Arab countries that they are gathering from, they are largely not in control of their own countries. Just as Lebanon is not in control of its own country either, it is controlled by Hezbollah. These countries, as Syria, as Lebanon, as Iraq, as Yemen, they are controlled by militias that are proxies of Persia, Iran, who is the arch enemy of Israel, who has the overarching goal of committing the genocide of Israel. And this gathering of Arab fighters as reported in Syria near uh, from all of these other Arab countries gathering at Israel's Golan border that are preparing to attack Israel with other militias of Arab tribes. This is a sign of the Holy Bible prophecies of the last days as the prophecy of Asaph in Psalm 83, which foretell that the descendants of the Arab tribes who are described in the Bible Genesis as a wild donkey of a man whose hand is against every man, hostile toward all, including their Arab brothers. But the prophecy says that a prophetic sign shall arise in the last days to where the descendants of the Arab tribes, including Philistia with Tyre, which is Hamas of Gaza and Hezbollah of southern Lebanon, along with the Ishmaelites and the tents of Edom, together with Moab and the Hagrites and Gabal and Ammon and Amalek and Assyria, that these Arab tribes, the descendants of these Arab tribes in the last days will lift up their heads against Israel. And these Arab tribes will all start coming together in confederacy with crafty counsel against Israel, where they will gather and unify to attack Israel, so to try and cut them off from being a nation, because they want the name of Israel to be remembered no more. And now, we see this sign that the Arab fighters are starting to travel from all across the Middle East, to the borders of Israel as they are lifting up their heads, seeing the escalation of Israel against their Arab brothers. And now at the borders of Israel, they are naturally beginning to gather together and to unite together to fight Israel. These tens of thousands of Arab fighters that are reported to be gathering now in Syria, they have traveled hundreds of miles from all across Syria. They have traveled even more hundreds of miles from across Iraq. And they have traveled even thousands of miles from Yemen for them all together at the Golan border of Israel. There is no report that we know of that anyone put out a, put out a call for them to come. No report that we know of that the governments of countries called for them. No report that we know of that imams called for them to come. But they all lifted up their heads against Israel after seeing Israel's level of escalation and said, come now, let us gather together. And their one purpose that has brought them together is their goal to uni unify together for the purpose to attack and destroy Israel. This is a sign. This is a beginning sign that they are coming, that they will come, that the descendants of all those Arab tribes that I called out that are in the prophecy, they are coming. And soon now, Soon now they will come and they will fulfill the prophecy. Just as when the time had come, when suddenly by two or by seven, groups started showing up in Noah's yard. As far as I know from the scripture, Noah did not make a call for them to come. Noah did not go looking for them. Noah did not drive them toward the ark. No, it was just 
time, the prophetic time had come and they started coming and showing up. And now you've got an Arab army of 40,000 fighters so far of Arab militias and mercenaries that have just suddenly showed up in Syria at Israel's Golan. Why? Because it's time. And believe me, this is just the beginning. The retaliations going on between Israel with Philistia of Gaza, which is Hamas, and with Tyre and Sidon of southern Lebanon, which is Hezbollah, these are prophesied in Joel chapter 3 to draw in a lot more yet for the war that is coming. There are approximately an estimated quarter of a million Arab fighters in all of Syria. There are also about an estimated half million Arab fighters all across Iraq. There are also over a hundred thousand Arab fighters in Yemen. There are a quarter million Arab fighters in Jordan's military and another approximately three quarter million Palestinian Arab men in Jordan. There are estimated approximately a quarter of million Arab men that could be Arab fighters from Lebanon. And there are probably somewhere between a quarter to a half million Arab men in the two million Arabs inside of Israel. And I'll stop there. So that's not including others from perhaps the likes of Saudi Arabia or Egypt. And if all these numbers of Arabs that I just called out, if they consider themselves to be good Arabs and to be good Muslims, and if they all lift up their heads, seeing what is happening now with these severe escalations of Israel on Hamas and Hezbollah, and then they all suddenly have this feeling that it's time to do something about it, that it's time to come together, that it's time to do something about Israel. From all these numbers that I mentioned, that could put approximately 2 million, 2 million Arab fighters at the same time on the borders of Israel and inside the borders of Israel and shooting rockets over all the borders of Israel from the north, east, and south. This 40,000 is just the sign of the beginning. It is just a beginning sign. That is the cloud, the size of a man's hand that soon will surprisingly grow into a storm over Israel who will soon lift up their heads and say, come now, let us consult together in crafty counsel and unite together so to cut Israel off from being a nation. That will happen just as sure as the sun rises because it is spoken in the holy prophecy of the word of the Lord God in the Holy Bible scriptures. And the signs are manifesting now of the last prophetic great Arab-Israeli war that will change the Middle East and brings the world to the end time. As these events and conditions happening now are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 verses 3 through 5 and as his Apostles authorized and sanctioned by the Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, as they described how in the acts of their preaching, in the acts of the apostles in chapter 2, chapter 8, chapter 10, and chapter 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area 
where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible scriptures. Please contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. And on that page, down at the very bottom, in the footer, in the smaller print, you'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, the name of your state, and don't forget your zip code with your request, and we'll be glad to respond and to help you, just as we have so many others all across the United States and in other countries. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. The need is greater than ever before for people to hear the prophetic signs of the last days and to hear the born-again gospel that was preached by Jesus Christ and his apostles in the acts of their preaching in their Holy Bible scriptures. And this signs of the last days ministry is here on a campaign for Jesus Christ to declare the path of the prophetic signs to the glorious appearance of Lord Jesus, and to declare his born-again salvation. Please join together with us in this mission of Christ Jesus by praying for this ministry and giving your offerings to support this ministry. You can give on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page. And our mailing address is also there on the giving page. And we thank you for being a part of the Signs of the Last Days ministry, being a part of this prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ Jesus the Lord by helping us to share the prophetic signs of the last days prophecies showing that the world is nearing the end time. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our Watch and Pray live stream such as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings, where we will then share the word of the Lord and share more mighty signs of the last day's prophecies. And please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. And please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. As we share the prophetic signs of the end time prophecies happening now in the world, showing us that the time of this age is growing short. Stand strong.